So we're going to go ahead and get started. Um, first, I'd like to thank everybody for being here today. And um, before Sheriff Crenshaw gets started, um, I just want to thank all the agencies that participated and assisted us in this investigation. Um, the Pickens County Sheriff's Office, the SLED, the Clemson Police Department. Um, here today we have Chief Jimmy Dixon, um, the DEA, represented today by Mike Rodzinski, um, Anderson County Sheriff's Office by Sheriff McBride, the United States Postal Inspection Service, the Tenth Circuit Solicitor's Office, represented by David Wagner, and the Seneca Police Department, uh, represented today by Chief John Covington. And just uh, for media members, at the end of this press conference, I will have hard copy um, press releases for you all that I'll disseminate. Thank you. Thank you, Kiana. Good morning. We're here today to talk about something that actually started about two and a half years ago. Uh, I've got some pre prepared comments, and then we'll be glad to uh, try to answer any questions that you may have. In January of 2017, uh, agents with uh, our Sheriff's Office and the Seneca Police Department narcotics units initiated an investigation as a result of a complaint concerning the sale of cocaine. This initial complaint led to a group of individuals uh, that were responsible for trafficking large quantities of cocaine and other illegal drugs into the upstate of South Carolina. As the investigation continued, other law enforcement agencies that are represented here today uh, joined us in the investigation, of course, SLED, Pickens County Sheriff's Office, uh, talked with Sheriff Clark, he, he was busy this morning, regrets that he couldn't be with us, Clemson Police Department, as she said, Chief Dixon, DEA, uh, with, with uh, uh, Mr. Ripzimski, he and I call each other Sheriff Chapman, by the way, uh, but uh, the Anderson County Sheriff's Office, uh, the Postal Inspection Service as well, and the uh, uh, prosecutor in this case will be the Attorney General's Office. Assisting also will be our, our solicitor, David Wagner, and the Tenth Circuit Solicitor's Office. But we all come together because this investigation led us outside of Oconee County. Uh, combining our efforts uh, to this group that was supplying and trafficking uh, large amounts of cocaine and other illegal drugs. Uh, this two and a half year investigation revealed the bulk quantity of illegal drugs that this organization was responsible for trafficking. It is believed through and during this investigation that this organization was responsible for trafficking approximately 61 kilos of cocaine and other illegal drugs into the upstate of South Carolina, which included Oconee, Pickens, Anderson, and Greenville counties. Uh, that 61 kilos would have a street value of about 6.1 million. Today, we stand here together as a team, working together, to proudly say that we have made eight arrests in this drug investigation uh, that was named the promoter. Some of these defendants worked as, as promoters uh, in the music industry, uh, helping musicians find venues, helping to promote albums and new songs that was being released. Uh, we at the Sheriff's Office are certainly appreciative. Everyone standing here up here today is appreciative uh, of the hard work, the professionalism, the long hours that our employees dedicated to this investigation. Uh, as you can see, the representation that we have here today of the multiple law enforcement agencies along with prosecution offices, displays the commitment, I think, that each of us have to combat illegal drugs in our jurisdictions. Each agency played a critical role. You know, we're not here to, to uh, take the lead or, or we, we could not have done it without each of these agencies working alongside with us. I think this highlights how important it is for law enforcement to, to work together, to cooperate, uh, to accomplish the goal of arresting and prosecuting drug dealers. All of us standing up here today are well aware uh, that our city and county line is not as important to us when we can work together and take down a large-scale drug operation. These defendants were indicted through the state grand jury and all were transported to the detention center in Richland County for booking and bond hearings. Uh, this case uh, will be prosecuted by the Attorney General's office due to the multiple jurisdictions that, uh, that this operation affected. Certainly, all defendants are presumed uh, innocent until and when they are proven guilty in a court of law. We have uh, Rip's list of y'all slide over just a little bit. 
Uh, it's on this side. I'm sorry. Y'all won't stay right where you're at. Uh, the, uh, we've actually arrested eight and are, st are currently uh, looking for the ninth defendant. Uh, starting, starting in the upper left-hand corner and going across left to right, we have Justin DeMond Alexander, age 27, from Seneca, South Carolina, has been arrested and charged with conspiracy to traffic cocaine greater than 400 grams, five counts, distribution of crack cocaine, possession of crack cocaine, possession with intent to distribute methamphetamine, and unlawful carrying of a firearm. Uh, the second on top left, uh, Eugene Malik Boyd, age 42, from Piedmont, South Carolina. Conspiracy to traffic cocaine greater than 400 grams. Two counts of trafficking cocaine greater than 400 grams. Mussy Gersus Hale, age 33, from Atlanta, Georgia. Conspiracy to traffic cocaine greater than 400 grams. Trafficking cocaine greater than 400 grams. James Sebastian Hunter, age 48, from Seneca, South Carolina. Conspiracy to traffic cocaine greater than 400 grams. Three counts of distribution of cocaine. Quantavius Favar Kills, age 30, from Seneca, South Carolina. Conspiracy to traffic cocaine greater than 400 grams. Four counts of traffic in 10 to 28 grams. And a distribution of marijuana charge. Andre Bias Randolph, age 32, from Seneca, South Carolina, conspiracy to traffic greater than 400, three counts of distribution of crack cocaine. Andrew Rafael Ruiz, 24, from Six Mile, South Carolina, conspiracy to traffic cocaine greater than 400 grams, distribution of cocaine, distribution of marijuana, trafficking cocaine 10 to 28 grams, possession of a Schedule II substance, and possession with intent to distribute marijuana. Bottom list, second from the right, is the individual that's currently uh, wanted, Trenton Michael Thomas, age 22, from Seneca, South Carolina, uh, has been uh, charged, warrants pending for conspiracy to traffic cocaine greater than 400 grams and five counts of distribution of crack cocaine along with distribution of marijuana. And the last defendant arrested at this time is Jordan Thompson, age 22, from Clemson, South Carolina. Conspiracy to traffic cocaine greater than 400 grams, two counts of distribution of marijuana, uh, distribution of cocaine, two counts of trafficking cocaine, 10 to 28 grams, possession with intent to distribute marijuana, possession of cocaine, possession of a stolen pistol, trafficking marijuana greater than 10 pounds, possession of a weapon during a violent crime, and possession with intent to distribute methamphetamine. On concerning Trent Michael Thomas, uh, we always want our citizens to know that Crime Stoppers is an anonymous way uh, that you can help us find him and you can certainly earn a cash reward uh, for the arrest of information leading to the arrest of this fugitive. Uh, certainly 1-800-CRIME-SC is the telephone number. You can go online on the internet at p3tips.com uh, or you can download, there's actually an, an app now. Uh, Go to the Android or, or Google Store and download, or the Apple Store and download the P3 Tips app. It's truly anonymous uh, way for you to, to give tips to law enforcement. At this time, we'll certainly be available to answer any questions. Uh, this I would like to, to add as we as we before we start with questions. This is an ongoing investigation. Uh, certainly, there may be more arrests and more charges as as we go forward. We're simply at a point uh, today. To, to be able to, to let you know uh, in a spirit of transparency as we've had some questions, you know, where we're at on this investigation, those that have been charged uh, and uh, we're booked in. I don't have booking information, but certainly we can get that. Uh, some of these defendants have made bonds. Some are still currently being held at the uh, Alvin Glenn Detention Center in Richland County. Any questions that you may have for any of us? Sure, that sounds like a lot of illegal drugs. Um, do you realize any kind of dent in the work at this moment? Dick, it's it, it's never ending. You know, we uh, the, there's others out there. You know, our narcotics agents from the from from my office, and I'm sure from all of these agencies that are represented here today, or, or have on, continuing ongoing investigations uh, concerning other defendants, other illegal drug 
activity uh, in our communities. But uh, uh, I think this is evidence today that, that we're committed to fighting it uh, each and every day uh, that we come to work. So, so we would, you know, 61 kilos of cocaine is a lot of drugs uh, in, in two and a half years in the upstate of South Carolina. So, so certainly we think we've we've stopped this organization. Uh, are there others? Sure, but we're investigating and, and trying to get uh, evidence evidence to arrest them as well. Anyone else? Any questions? Well, we thank you for being here today. Uh, PIO Holland will, will certainly have. Uh, copies and mug shots available that she'll be glad to send you digitally. Would anyone else, sheriffs, chiefs, solicitor, anyone else that would like to make any comments? Okay. Well, thank you all for coming. We appreciate it.